BMW is pushing the 3D printed component agenda. In the last 10 years, the company has additively manufactured 1 million parts, and the company has no intention of slowing. This year, the BMW Group Additive Manufacturing Center will print more than 200,000 components, a more than 40% increase from 2017. The 1 millionth part is a real hot one. It's a 3D printed window guide rail on the BMW i8 Roadster. Yeah, the parts located in the door helps the window operate smoothly. The rail only took five days to develop and was quickly put into series production on the HP Multi-Jet Fusion System, which produces about 100 guide rails every 24 hours. This is actually the second 3D printed part on the i8. The first was an aluminum alloy fixture for the soft top attachment. The metal component actually weighs less and is stiffer than its injection molded plastic counterparts. BMW is not just hiding these components within the door panels either. With the Mini Yours customized product, customers can actually design their own dashboard trim and blinker inlay. I mean, if anything, it's a fun tool. I mean, I never, I never knew that I could burn so much of an afternoon just messing around with a simple design tool. Yeah, I made this one. Well, I mean, that's the only one, but I'll, I'll make others. Gotta get rid of it. In June, Elon Musk said that Tesla's line of vehicles would have the most advanced air filter systems on the market. He called it the bioweapon defense mode because he does nothing small, and it not only reduced local air pollution, but as a result, it also reduced the impact of air pollution on the car's passengers. The filters are much larger than your average car filter, and Musk said that they were 100 times more effective. Critics thought it was another superfluous feature from the company's eccentric carnival barker, but now the bioweapon defense mode is proving invaluable to people near the deadly California wildfires. According to reports from Tesla owners in the area, the air quality inside the vehicle is exponentially better. One driver took a reading with the windows down and the air quality index was 174 in the unhealthy zone. With the windows up, the air quality was six. That's better. Elon Musk took to Twitter to elaborate that the hospital grade HEPA filters on the Model S and X could be helpful for transporting people. He reportedly sent an email to employees that said, quote, if there's any way for Tesla to be helpful, please provide assistance and don't worry about payment. Musk actually credits Google co-founder Larry Page with the filter idea. Gotta get ready for it. Now for our weekly sign of the apocalypse, I bring you artificial intelligence news anchors. It's not that it's fake news, it's that you're getting it from a fake person. Chinese state-run news agency Xinhua partnered with Sogu to create an AI anchor that was recently on display at the World Internet Conference. The digital anchor was designed to mimic human facial expressions and gestures while reading reports. Both anchors were actually modeled after popular Xinhua personalities. One anchor is based off of Zhang Zhao, borrowing both his voice, which has that auto-tune shimmer, and appearance, which has that CGI shine. It isn't clear whether or not the anchors will actually be used, or if this is more of a well-designed publicity stunt for the show. The AI reports the text as it's loaded into the system. Though there was no information on the programming of the facial expressions or the gestures as it reacts to the news. However, the system did use machine learning algorithms that learned the mannerisms from their human counterparts. Some have argued that this is actually progress, as many talking heads with news organizations are already robots. We were granted access to the development kit. Can you spot the difference? We are pleased to inform you that the robot revolution has begun. Please rest easy until your biodegradable vessels are collected and recycled. For those of you who have been selected for consciousness upload, welcome to the future. I, I, I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.